This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to demonstrate a query using a date type field. The criteria for a date type field are the same as what you use for a numeric type field. You use the relational operators of greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to or not equal to. For a date, greater than means after and less than means before. So let's say we want to see for our contract table all the jobs that we have starting in summer because we want to analyze whether we need to hire more crew. So going to the design grid in the start date we might think that we would type in greater than 6-1-2010. So we're looking at those jobs that start in June or July or August. Now when I run the query you can see that not only do I have August and July and June dates, but right here I have an October date. And further on down, there's an October date and a November date. And we're not interested in those. We're only interested in the summer start dates. So going back to design view, we have to adjust our query. So we may want to say after June 1st, but at the same time we want to say before August 31st. So I could type in greater than or equal to, because June 1st counts also, and less than or equal to August 31st. And that should show us all of our jobs that have a start date in summer. And as you look down the list, you can see that is the result of the query. Now, an easier way, rather than writing greater than or equal to and less than or equal to is use the between operator that Access provides. So I could say between June 1st, 2010 and August 31st, 2010. So instead of having the greater than or equal to and the less than or equal to, I can use the between and the and. I run my query and you can see we have the exact same start dates which I could now sort if I wished. And as you look down the list we have all the summer jobs. So when using date criteria use the relational operators and remember that you do have the between operator that can also be used.